Why are foreign central banks foregoing the interest they could have otherwise earned on treasuries to own non-interest bearing assets like gold and silver? Good evening, folks, and welcome back to another episode of Silver Dad Knows. Remember, always live with no edits. If this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button now as you're gonna like what I'm about to say. So as you can see right here to my left, I have a 2019 Captain America coin, an epic coin, and to my right, I have a 1964 dime. And I'm gonna go over that because this is also another epic piece. But just to uh, begin this episode, check this bad boy out, let me just clean it a little bit. Here we go. So, Amazon is currently selling these for $130. I can't make this up. Look it up. I mean, it's going to freak you out. This exact coin is going for $130 right now off of Amazon. Um, so, 2019, Captain America. Um, this coin is the sixth release in the Marvel Bullion series, uh, struck by the Perth Mint featuring uh, Marvel characters, of course. This coin in particular is limited to 50,000 coins. So if you're a Marvel fan, this is a coin to own. And there's only 50,000 worldwide. So if you're just a silver collector, why would you not own such a, um, such a low minted piece that is clearly sought after? In the Marvel Universe, the character of Captain America came into being during the Second World War as a superior super soldier and is strictly... Uh, speaking, this is the first Avenger. Of course, the uh, verse features the effigy of uh, Her Majesty Elizabeth II and states the purity and legal tender denomination. The reverse depicts a classic rendering of Steve Rogers, a.k.a. Uh, Captain America, ready for combat with his undestructible shield. Funny story, I bought this uh, piece years ago from a very close friend of mine. He needed money desperately for silver. I was barely getting into the game. Remember, Amazon is currently selling it for $130. I bought it years ago for 25 bucks. Tell me that is not a steal. Of course it's a steal. <clears throat> Little did he know, but he sold me he sold me assets, you know, miniature assets because he had a, a number of Marvel coins, and that's just one of them. Uh, real quick, folks, before I continue, I do want to give a quick shout out. To, of course, you know, my loyal subscriber, and it's the guy that I shout out probably the most, Sarge272711, and there's a comment that they made last night. Our enemies are dumping the U.S. dollar. Do as they do? After they crash the system, cash will be king for a short time. Then as people lose confidence in it, the move to metals will happen. I think that's when it will be FOMO to prices we never expected. Better be a decade early than a day late. Stay safe. Cheers. And that's why we shout out Sarge272711 because um, their comments, not only are they inspiring, they're insightful, but it's like, yes, I mean, Sarge272711 is saying things that I wholeheartedly agree with. I love that that uh, last sentence. Better be, better be a decade early than a day late. As investors, how many times do you wish that was the case? Shoot, I wish I would have been a decade earlier. I wish I would have been a decade earlier on Bitcoin, my goodness. I used to live with a guy in California, man. <clears throat> At one time, he had 10 Bitcoins. I remember he was getting them for like 200 bucks a pop. And back then, I was like, man, uh, this is when I was a kid, mind you. I was like a teenager. And I was like, man, that's so expensive. I never buy that. You're a moron. And uh, no, I mean, he wasn't a moron. That, that was that was literal capital right there. Um you know, we buy gold and silver as an alternative to U.S. dollars, U.S. dollars, paper, fake, um, and U.S. treasuries. Foreign central banks are selling their dollars and buying precious metals. Why are they doing that? Why are they foregoing the interest that they could have otherwise earned on treasuries to non-interest-bearing um, assets like gold and silver? They're owning non-interest-bearing assets, gold and silver, and they're choosing, the, they're choosing so. They're doing this because they know inflation is going to be higher than interest rates, which will create a negative yield. Purchasing power is lost the longer you stay in the U.S. dollar and treasuries. It's not gold and silver that are going up. It's the dollar that is going down. The main reason so many women have had to enter the workforce is because 
During the 1970s, inflation eroded away the value of their husband's paycheck. Not all men, but most men. Inflation, along with rising taxes, caused the husband's paycheck to lose so much purchasing power, his wife had to get a job to make up the difference. Women were not all liberated to work. They had to work. They were liberated when they didn't have to work, when they didn't have to pay bills, and had the privilege to stay home and raise children. But how are people surviving now when most households, men and women, both work and still can't make ends meet? Look at the jobs report we get each month. All these jobs are being created, but what they don't tell you is that most of them are part-time jobs. We're net losing full-time jobs and they're going to people who already have jobs. So many Americans are working two to three jobs. Moonlighting is at an all-time high because that's the only way people can get by. People don't want these jobs and the creation of these jobs is a bad sign. It's not a good sign. It's not a strong labor market, but a weak one. All these difficult things are going to need to happen if the Fed decides to do what it needs to do. Otherwise, they're just going to allow inflation to continue and it'll keep getting worse. Ultimately, this will destroy the dollar's role as the reserve currency. People are going to see their social security benefits erode and the bondholders will not get paid. They're going to get inflated away. We all will ultimately, unless we're multi multi-millionaires or billionaires. Many years ago, this wasn't the case. America used to be a blue chip stock. But now we're seeing the complete erosion of our society. Crime is basically becoming legal in many cities. Catch and release. Littering is out of control. In America, they're moving everything in the wrong direction. It should disgust you. The family unit, for example, is rapidly deteriorating by the day. As the family unit deteriorates by the day, more and more people will require financial assistance and help. In America, we're already a rapidly depleting society. That's why so many, um, they lack morals. So many, they don't cherish our nation and so many, they don't fear God. Japan, China, India, and this is just to name a few, over the next decade, they're going to flourish. These societies hold their citizens to a much higher standard. They don't entertain pronouns. They don't entertain TikTok. And they're dishing out leaders, doctors, entrepreneurs, engineers, left and right. What the hell has happened to America? Ask yourself that. And folks, just before I forget this, yes, 1964. It's my only 1964 dime. I love it. I actually own this piece by accident. I got it one time when I was at Chipotle and I noticed, holy moly, they gave me a 1964 piece unknowingly. This is money right here. 1964 Roosevelt dimes were struck at the Philadelphia Mint and are the last struck in 90% silver. For 168 years since 1796, when the U.S. Mint began striking dimes, they had been minted in silver. Um, in the uh, early 1960s, demand for silver picked up and a coin shortage developed in the U.S. So 1964 became the final year 90% silver coins were struck for circulations. Just want you to see some clarity there. Very, very nice piece, attractive piece. Um, these are considered junk silver, but I assure you, they're anything and everything but junk. Depending on their condition, these 1964 dimes can range anywhere from $4 to $2,700. At the minimum, you have about $3 to $4, over $3. Look it up. You have over $3. So it's like, oh man, it's only a 10 piece. That ain't, that ain't crap. Well, how many 10 pieces are worth at least $3.75? That's why I say $4. It's, it's worth at the minimum, minimum $3.75. $3 and it's uh, silver melt is a dollar. It's a 10 piece, 10 cent piece. And it's silver melt is a dollar. This is cash right here, even if it's a little bit. And remember, I told you, they can go up to as much as $2,700 if you have an uncirculated, pristine piece. But anyways, folks, thank you so much for joining us for another episode of Silver Dad Knows. Remember, always live with no edits. And um, yes, you're always getting my genuine self, my genuine beliefs. Um, folks, remember, you go to my description. 
you will notice my uh, silver dad knows link to my eBay account. Remember, you hit me up for any of my coins. I will sell you any of my coins at your choosing at my cost. I will hook you up. But yes, folks, God bless you. God bless your households. And as a proud American, you know I'm not going to stop saying it. God bless the greatest nation that has ever existed, the United States.